Hi everyone, I'm Antoinette from Antoinette's Italian Kitchen, cooking with love. Today, I am so excited to present to you one of my really favorite dishes because I'm a fish lover. And this is my Italian poached fish filet. And the reason I say fish filet, because you can use cod, you can use snapper, you can use any type of fish that you like. Today, we're going to be using cod. And I want to present to you this in a very healthy way, in a very delicious way. It's a light, airy meal that your family and friends and fish lovers will enjoy tremendously. Let's get started. We're gonna, of course, olive oil. Saute in the olive oil, I'm heating it. And by the way, I use Di Cecchio olive oil. And the reason I use this is it's the only 100% olive oil from Italy. It's 100% Italian. The olives are from a certain region in Italy. This is in my Amazon store and that's where I get it. I love it. It's shipped to my house. It's easy, it's simple, and it's the best. Okay, let's get started. We're going to be sauteing red onion. And I love my wooden spoons. Smells so good already. I'm going to cut up some fresh garlic. I use about four or five cloves. I'm heavy on the garlic because I love it. And you know, garlic is so healthy for you in so many ways. It really is. My mother cooked a lot with garlic. I watched her cook when I was a kid. My bedroom was right next to the kitchen. We had a small house growing up in New Jersey. And uh, my, kit, my bedroom was near the kitchen, and I felt like I was raised with garlic. Smelled it all the time. Olive oil, fresh parsley. It's just such a staple in Italian cooking. I'm going to stir this. I like to add some extra garlic powder just to lock in the flavor. Some onion powder goes with the onions. Okay, so we're going to saute this. I'm going to add, the reason I'm adding the water, because it's going to be poached. It's not going to be fried or sauteed. We're going to add, believe it or not, two cups of water. Let this cook, because remember, we're making a poaching sauce. And I'm going to add fennel. Fennel gives it such a nice flavor. As we say in Italian, fanuccia. You can relate to that if you have any family from Italy. Fennel's a very, very big staple in Italy. When you go to Italy, when I traveled there, they actually put it on the table as an appetizer. They saute it and it's served to you with your bread. It's so delicious. And of course, we're going to put in fresh cherry tomatoes. The cherry tomatoes have been washed. I'm going to put them in. Hands to my heart. I use my hands a lot. We're going to saute. This sautés for about, not sauté, I should say boil, for about five minutes. We get this going. Some salt and pepper, kosher salt. Some pepper. Now, I'm not putting capers. In this particular recipe, we use green olives. When it's done boiling, we have to boil it. When it's done boiling, which takes about four or five minutes, we place the fish in here, skin side down. So let's cover it, and I'll see you in about five minutes. We are halfway there. We're on a nice boil. The tomatoes are getting soft. I can smell the fennel. I'm going to be adding some fresh basil, chopped up. I like to put the basil in at the end of any recipe, towards the end. It just gives it so much flavor. We don't want to cook the basil out. We want to cook the basil and keep it in. I'm going to add some white wine. With fish, I use white wine. Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, it's always a good one. Okay. And a little bit of, just a little bit of crushed red pepper.
delicious. Smells so good. While this is boiling, we have about another three, four minutes. I'm going to make the crostinis that goes with this dish. So I have my baguette bread. I cut it in half like this. Let me show you what I do to make crostini. I make homemade crostini. I make homemade breads. So good. Okay. Just so you can see what I'm doing. My old faithful paintbrush. I'm going to paint the crostini with the olive oil. I feel like my crostinis are dancing today, which is good. <laughs> They're alive and kicking. They're excited. As excited as I am to be able to cook with you in my kitchen and me come into your kitchen. This is all going to be part of my cooking course, which I'm so excited. You can click on my bio and see what it's all about. I do both sides. My course is going to have so many recipes, all favorites, favorite Italian recipes of Italian families, traditions, 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 third generation. I'm going to put some Italian cheese on it, on the crostini. This is actually such a good, delicious part of the fish dish. Now you can serve this fish dish with rice on the side. You can poach it. Of course, we're going to be poaching it. You can serve it with pasta, anything of your choice. Some salt, just a little bit, some pepper. and some garlic powder. I'll go back, spread out everything nice and evenly. I'm going to pop these in the oven on broil for a couple minutes. I'll be right back. I'm back. It's boiling so nicely. The tomatoes look like they're really ready. And done. I'm going to cut in some parsley. And again, I love my parsley and I love to garnish with parsley. Color is so important. If you notice, I used red and yellow tomatoes. I like to put my herbs in at the end. I don't like them to get lose the taste and the flavor. So the longer you can keep your herbs out, the better it is. It's savory. Now I'm going to take the fish and we're going to place it skin side down. Uh, I want to see if I can fit four pieces in here. Hopefully I can to poach it. It's a nice meal for a family of four. And like I said, you can use bronzini, you can use snapper, whatever kind of fish you like the best you can use. I chose cod today. I don't use any metal spoons. I don't want anything to break. Sometimes metal spoons are too harsh for delicate dishes. And I love the white fish. Okay, now this simmers for five minutes. I'm going to go check my crostinis and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. Crostinis are done. They're nice. They're toasted. They're ready to be served with the poached codfish and tomatoes. Makes a nice combination and it looks good. Mmm, look at that. Poached fish. Not sauteed, not pan fried, poached. Very healthy. Very, very healthy. I'm proud to present it. I'm a fish eater, so. This just makes me very happy. 
Okay, we're going to put the fishes. I think I'll put them this way. I have four pieces here, four very nice pieces. You can serve a family of four with this. The meal took 15, 20 minutes. Wasn't that long, which I'm so proud to say. I love most of my meals to be simple, simple ingredient, simple recipe, and simple prep time. And this one I'm especially loving because it's such a delicious meal that looks pretty, makes a great presentation. I'm very excited about this one. And the family loves it. The fennel taste, the tomatoes, all the herbs in here. It's just a very nice dish. And you can save the extra little sauce here that I have. You can save this extra sauce if you want to make a risotto, if you want to make rice, or even a little bit of angel here. You can pour this over vermicelli, anything that you want, a delicate pasta. Okay, we're going to put the crostinis here. And I'm proud to present to you my poached fish with crostini. Tomatoes, fresh herbs, very healthy plate. From my healthy heart to your family's healthy heart, from my heart to your plate, to your home, let's keep the tradition going. Let's keep the great meals going. And look at this beautiful presentation. Now I have to ask you a question. Was that so hard? It's not. I'm excited for you to come into my kitchen to cook with me and for me to cook with you in your kitchen. And I want to share every single recipe with you. Enjoy. Bon appetit.